Tonight I got Stone Cold Steve Austin in the house. Mm -hmm. More and more mm -hmm. in the house. And that's Pete 2.0. I'll be right back. Lease your own TV. And through Saturday, Shop Your Way members get a thousand points when they buy. They have you. What exactly is the title of what you do there? What is going oh, on? Gosh, I hope I get this right. Social network. Town, not in the burbs though. Here's your wake up weather. A cold start, but not as bitterly cold as it has been. 17 to 28 at 5 o'clock, 16 to 26 at 7 o'clock, and then by 9 o'clock, we're getting there, uh, 22 to 32. We'll come back, we'll talk about when the 40s roll in. It's 195 plus Tempur-Pedic and I comfort. 500 memory foam mattresses up to 87% off. This weekend only at the dump. Meet Mike. He discovered hands-on learning at ACPI University. It was really all hands-on from start to finish. We were working with the processors. We worked with power supplies, motherboards entirely. We went from keyboards, mics, monitors. The fact that we could actually, you know, do these things and tear things apart and put them back together and know that they're actually working, everything stands out. Everything was a great experience. Discover an exciting way to learn. Go to ecpi.edu and find out how you can learn by doing. Friday, the best names in memory foam dump $8,000 mattress sets for $9.95. Queens, $2.95. Twins, $1.95. Plus Tempur-Pedic and iComfort. 500 memory foam mattresses up to 87% off. This weekend only at the dump. Time WWE F. champion and Hall of Famer. Now he's the toughest SOB behind the mic with his podcast, Steve Austin Show. Please give it up for Stone Cold. you miss that? You know, it took a long time to get out of my system. It took about three years to get out of my system. I rode off into the sunset, and I stayed there in the hill country, San Antonio, Texas. I drank a lot of whiskey. <laughs> I drank a lot of beers. I hunted a lot. Finally got out of my system. But, you know, anytime you get around this, it's just instant adrenaline. Damn, it gives me a flashback. 
I went on YouTube. It's been, it's been a while since you and me seen each other. Yeah. Uh, I went on YouTube because last time I seen you was at the anti-bullying campaign. Yeah. And so I said, man, let me check some Arsenio out. And you had the ultimate warrior on. That old one. And he started flipping the furniture. Yeah. And then he said, bye. And I said, Arsenio is really scared or he a good actor. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Daniel Day Lewis ain't got nothing on you. Yeah, you know, it's a little bit of both. Uh, I'm an all right actor. But with a white man that big, you don't know what's going to happen, you know? <laughs> you know, and all the makeup, and he's not in kiss. No, no, no. You know, it's, it's very scary. But you're right, we um, did a benefit downtown or a charity event downtown. Yeah, you're good kid. with kids. Well, I did kids. Yeah. Yeah. And you walked around there, talked to the kids and everything. You didn't tell me or them about the new network. Oh, the WWE network? Yeah. Yeah, man, they go, they go unleash that on... Uh... February, 20, what, February 24th? Yes, yes. February 24th, WWE Network's coming out. They got 100,000 hours of original content. They're coming up with some more reality shows. It's going to be 24-7 access for the WWE fans. Now, you're still going to have Monday Night Raw going to SmackDown on Friday. All that's in place. And you get all the pay-per-views for $9.99 a month. It's a hell of a deal for the working man to save some ducats. Yes. Yeah. Uh, you know uh Vince is going to take all the credit for it, but you were very involved in creating this network. Well, I mean, he's laying body parts all over the country. <laughs> Inside a squared circle, but I mean, I didn't really have nothing to do with it. I was a big part of that company back in the day, and the Attitude Era, probably. You know, one of the greatest uh, periods in pro wrestling, or as they call it these days, sports entertainment. But, you know, a lot of guys before me left some body parts all over the place, and they will continue to do so as they entertain their very diverse fan base. You're being a little modest, because I'm a huge wrestling fan, and I know that the you Oh, you remember the big wrestling fan? Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. I remember the first time I actually saw You remember the first wrestling match you ever saw? Man, I was changing channels in Edna, Texas, and I can't remember who was in the ring, but they had an iron claw on Dusty Rhodes, and he was bleeding, and the security guard was walking around, and I kept telling my mom, she was reading her magazine, I said, Mom, why don't that security guard help Dusty? And she got a rolled her eyes, you know, and Dusty was bleeding, and I figured he should jump in and help. Yes. Of course, he was in on the fix, right? So, yeah, but I'll, I'll just go way back. Oh, I, I, I was born in Cleveland, Ohio, and I went to the Cleveland Arena with my dad and saw Bobo Brazil. Big star. Yes. Big star. Going way back. Yeah, and, but I happen to know that wrestling had a problem for a while. And then the storyline where you and Vince battled, where, where you took on establishment, per se, right. kind of flipped the numbers and sent it upward. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, we had that period of the Monday Night Wars, and, you know, and, uh, WCW came out with their Monday Night Show, Monday Night Throw. And we was going head to head. We got our ass kicked for two years. And then finally we started cooking things up and everybody started heating up and we started whipping their ass and ended up, Vince bought that territory from Ted Turner. And yes. You know, closed it down. Um, hey man, y'all did that Bieber Vention camera. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I was back. Can I do that? Absolutely. <laughs> Can I use that camera? Is that a good? Because I love I, 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 we were talking about kids. I love kids, too. I got a couple kids. Can he, I drop he, he came down to the Galen Center and spoke to 5,000 kids, and it was silent while he talked. Bring that. You, 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 so that's that's Justin Bieber right there. That's the Calabasas cam. Right? Calabasas cam. Yeah. <laughs> Justin, Stone Cold Steve Austin coming to you from the Arsenio Hall. Straighten your act up, or I'm going to come find you and put my size 13 foot up your ass. Oh! And let the... You just got to keep it simple. Yes, yes. But you like, it's like going Not back to what you were saying, man. We, my mom and dad used to hand out them ass whoopings to the house. And if you messed up in the kitchen, mom gonna bust out a wooden spoon on your ass. <laughs> yeah. Yes. My mother hit me with a car antenna one time. <laughs> you know? And then she had to screw it back on. Yeah, and and it it the radio. Now, now, now get this thing again. Make me have to take off work and come up to school. But see. When we got tough, we kind of, we did a thing where we outgrew mom's weapons. Oh, yeah. So we would start acting. We would think like we was crying. Yeah. And she'd come around the corner and caught us. She knew that we was, you know, we was That's working hilarious. her. And so then, it was like, you know, Pulp Fiction when they sent in the wolf. Yeah. That's when she sent dad in for the real deal. Oh, yeah. And when dad started taking off that belt, it was all over, oh, mister. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it started hurting before he got it off. Yeah. <laughs> you ever cried before you? Yeah. Oh, yeah. But, see, but you do that, you go, dad, I, I promise I'm never going to do it no more. I promise I'm never going to yeah. do it. I know yeah. you're not going to do it anymore. Uh -huh. Bam! Oh. Got to give it. But those, but those ass whoopings was given with love. 
Yeah, absolutely. And we'll be back with more love from Stone Cold Steve Austin. It's simple. You buy a policy direct with Direct Auto, you get a low rate. Just call the JJ Care hotline, visit a Direct Auto Insurance location, or go online. And don't worry, the website works. the Stone Cold Steve Austin of the bass. <laughs> Laying it down. I'm digging it. Loud and funky. And don't give him a beer. <laughs> you go crazy if you give him a beer? Yes, sir. Um, I'm sitting with Stone Cold. Hey, for real wrestling fans, I got to deal with this CM Punk situation. Right. He quit the WWE two days ago. Is that real or is that storyline? The word on the street was it was real. But see, I was back in a place when I, I walked away from the company. I didn't like what they had to tell me, so I took my ball and went home as they spun it and lost out on a lot of money. Mm -hmm. uh, so see him, I just think he was back against the corner, got a little frustrated, and he took his ball and went home. Now, I think one of two <laughs> things will happen. I think uh, Vince will fly down there to Chicago or wherever he is and mm -hmm. work some Jedi mind tricks and convince him to come back. Yeah. Or maybe he will think through the process, and he's got a lot of years left in the tank, and you know, never leave money on the table when you can go ahead and make that money. Because it don't matter what happens, they keep sending these little gimmicks in the mail, and they're called bills. Mm -hmm. And you must pay your bills. Yeah. So, you know, uh, I consider, I do my show for the working man. I consider Punk a very good friend, and I, you know, I know he probably really is going through a lot of stress, and uh, I wish him well. Uh, I think it is a real deal, but I, I, I would like to think that he will come back. But, you know, he's a, he's a pretty hard-headed young man, so we will, uh, you know, see what happens. Bad timing because you've got WrestleMania 30, yeah. you know, going down yeah. in the Superdome. So, I mean, that's going to be a good payday and a good ride to yeah. make. Some cream yeah. there. you got to have um, get them ducats. Hey, by the way, Dana White, president of the UFC, was here, and he called Vince a maniac. He was, call, oh, really? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> That's all you had to say. I've said it in a few, uh, with a little bit more salt and pepper on it. <laughs> but with, with all due respect, I mean, you know, Vince is a different animal. And he's got a lot of vision, he's got a lot of guts. And uh, he ain't afraid to go out on a limb. You know, i got to watch my language, but right. I mean, I'm crazy as hell. <laughs> but I mean that in a good way. Yeah. Hey, I keep seeing myself on this close-up out here, and, and people, you know, normally I keep my goatee a little bit shorter than this, but I'm growing it out. I got a new yeah. project I'm starting, so the reason it looks so jacked up is because I, I was trimming it to go do that WWE Network unveiling, and I oh, yeah. hacked off about two months' growth. You should get the dub down. Yeah, I don't know if I can go. I, I'm not a man like you. I yeah, but you got to come hunting oh, down there at the ranch with me. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> we got to talk about No, but that's cute. Oh, uh, cute. <laughs> <laughs> your podcast and how they can check that out man i do a podcast it drops twice a week i do a family friendly show on tuesday you know i keep no cussing in that so the kids, kids can listen anybody can listen to it and i drop some good 411 about you know some tips this that or whatever yeah. i don't really get into politics religion stuff like that that's a divisive subject right uh, what i'm trying to, to provide is audio whoop ass for the working man or the working woman as they drive to and from work or sit at work on their computer and give them some entertainment. Yeah. And on that Thursday show, it's called Steve Austin Show Unleashed. And you can check his shows out on podcastone.com or iTunes under the Sports and Recreation. They're free to download. And that Unleashed version is everything but the kitchen sink. And when I say that, <laughs> uh, it, it carries an explicit tag. Okay. You know, much in the vein of, you know, go back to the, the Richard Pryors and the yeah. Carlos. Now, I'm not one of those guys, but... Right. Lots of language. You're somewhere between Luke Campbell and Richard Pryor. Yeah. That would be, that'd be somewhere right there. And another Tuesday show would be Jerry Seinfeld and Bill Cosby. Yes. Yes. Now, can you do that? For the whole family. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> yes. hey, um, I don't want to try to explain this. I'm going to let uh, you explain it. You, In wrestling, there's a thing, and you were the best at it. It's called cutting a promo. 
to explain what that is. Well, I mean, you cut in a promo, that's like you and me got a wrestling match. Well, I've got to talk about you. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, you, you're going to be a great A opponent. And if there's a personal issue between us, and that's going to make it even better. So basically all it is is a verbal back and forth between two cats to draw money, to make these people feel what we're feeling and want to pay the money to buy that ticket. Right, right. And, and all the... Uh all the different book phrases are important. You were great yeah. at coming up with something. I mean, I mean you, right? can, you can go out there and just uh, just start flapping your gums. But if it don't mean nothing, if you ain't pulling nobody's heartstrings and getting to somebody's guts, it don't mean nothing. Right. Sometimes less is more. Sometimes a lot is better. It all depends on the message you got. But if it's coming from your heart, your guts, and your soul, and you mean it, that's the, that's the biggest thing. You have to mean it. I had an argument with Barry Manilow in a hotel, and he jumped on my back. He jumped on my back. And I couldn't get him off. We, we've had this running thing. See, see, I, I released a record a long time ago, made a lot of money under the name Blackie Manilow. And Barry Manilow tried to sue me because he said that his name and all. And so he jumped on my back the other night at a, at a Grammy thing. And I, I went, so, yeah. Did not tell me that Barry Manilow whooped your ass. Well, no, no, no. no he, I, just, I just couldn't get him off. I couldn't get him off. You know? Uh, I was like, yeah. did, 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 did Barry cut a promo on you? Uh, hey, you know, hey, check it out. CM Punk just leaves the WWE. They looking for a main event. Barry Manilow, Arsenio Hall, WrestleMania 30. You got a mic? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cool. Cool. Let's, okay. Should I, should I cover the, can I cover on air? And I don't mean a fart. Stop smiling. Uh, okay, I'm gonna come, now how do, I, how do I do this? Wait, I'm gonna look at Barry Manilow. Who, who are you calling out? You calling out Barry Manilow? I wanna call out, baby, I wanna call out Barry Manilow. Yeah, I mean, well, who'd he ever beat? Man think uh, he can play a piano. He can't play nothing. Right! He yeah. can't sing. You can't beat Mandy. You going to the way I, yeah. I You better write the songs. Just write the songs. Cause if you come in the square circle with me, I'm gonna make you dizzy when I get busy, Barry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you got it, you got it. You, you may look at it more. Uh, Something personal, but, but not uh, too personal. I write the songs, bitch. <laughs> and that's the bottom Blackie line. Blackie Manilow, that could be my name. Blackie Manilow, I could, if I win the lawsuit with him, I'm gonna keep Blackie Manilow in. You and Blackie Manilow, my wrestling when, name. But when, what's gonna be your finishing move? Uh. Well, since I said that dizzy thing, maybe some kind of chokehold. Chokehold. You know, you gotta yeah. do something with sudden impact. But then you know, you go to the chokehold. That way, they can pull his hand up a couple times. On that third time, he keeps it up. You know, like it, yeah, yeah. yeah. Little I, drama. I, I, I gotta just have bust drama. a bottle of grape Kool-Aid. And is there such a thing? Yeah, because he like, yeah, but, but he wear a white suit so we can see the Kool-Aid. It could be a visual. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Can you feel? Yeah. Uh, you know what? Can you give us, can you give us just a, a little perfection in this world? Can, can you look in the camera and do your thing? For, for who? For me and for whoever you're not liking right now. For my crowd and forever you're not liking right now. Man, I tell you what, I was riding down the street the other day and I saw a man in a Toyota Prius. Now, a Toyota Prius is a green car, but this man had a cigarette in his hand uh -oh. and he was riding down the road hanging that cigarette out the damn window. And so if you drive in a green car and you think you're doing a good thing, and then finally you take a last drag on that cigarette and you throw that oh. off in the streets of Los Angeles, California, I got a problem with you. I got a real big problem with your sorry ass. Next time you get your little Toyota Prius and you light up your cigarette and start smoking on it, throw that some buck in the ashtray, and that's the bottom line, cause Stone Cold says so. Check out the Steve Austin show on iTunes or Bob.